this is the third module that deals with the same topic. We are discussing findings of a researcher about uh, uh, feminism and uh, how this uh, feminism is uh, communicated, how this feminism is propagated, promoted through fairy tales. We will discuss here more findings. These findings suggest that women face discrimination in certain cultures, including ours. Nobody can deny that because of this difference, because of patriarchy, male supremacy, male domination, one thing is sure. In certain classes, certain segments of every culture, women uh, face injustices. So, continuing more finding, number one, all professions in public domains, they are occupied by males. Women are confined to spinning wheels, knitting sweaters, making baskets. These results are based on fairy tales. Remember, keep in mind. And uh, they are about ancient times, they are about rural life, countryside life. So, their women, they remain at home and they do such kind of low status job, usually manual work. And all the superior jobs and professions, they are for men. And uh, they are out of home where they can't go. So, this is something about ancient times. Things have uh, been changed a lot now. You are very well aware of that. Women are professional magicians. Now see, this is uh, the image of the women in these fairy tales. Jo Diane Chodel hai, wo bima, a woman hai. So, uh, Jadugar ni woman hai. Beggars, cook, they are women. Another finding is, Women always demand gifts. Now see, their dependent attitude. And this is how they become burdened. They always demand gifts, clothes, eatables. Every time there is some success uh, achieved by any member of the family, that person is bound to bring a gift for the daughter, for the sister. So, before and after marriage, this uh, uh, desire for gift, this is not only before marriage, it continues even after marriage. Mujhe eid aayegi maa baap se, mujhe ye hoga, kabarat aayegi. So this is our culture. Society treats them as burden. So most of the times, people, uh, some people, not all, they are fed up with this desire of a getting gift for the whole life. Another finding is women always need male support. And this is very common theme across the fairy tales. As I said in the beginning of this talk, that in fairy tales we see that a person is in problem, a woman is in problem, and uh, suddenly a fairy tale comes. A fairy tale comes and helps that woman out of that problem. The heroines in the tales are often in some trouble and suffer from poverty or some other problem, uh, illness, etc. Or uh, they are alone, they are left alone accidentally uh, in some uh, barren place uninhabited place. Kisi birani mein akeli reh gai hai, rasta ni mil raha, they have lost their way, etc. So many problems. You all have uh, read such stories, so you know these things. The point that we want to make here is, on the basis of the research, that uh, they are dependent. They need male support. This is the message that we want to give through these fairy tales to our children. 
uh, prince uh, this uh, story of cinderella is very famous a prince saves cinderella from her cruel stepmother and uh, the daughters of that stepmother and ultimately that prince marries cinderella this is the end of that story so you can watch this story at this uh, youtube website that is given here you will see that when a male helps a female what happens the girl as a trophy is given to that male it happens in every fairy tale whether the person is prince or uh, whether the person is some other brave uh, knight nawab etc so he gets the girl as a trophy here is a task watch cinderella on youtube describe the ways cinderella's stepmother and step sisters mistreat her they ridicule her tease her do you think all women are powerless after watching this story my question is that do you think all women are powerless see the stepmother and uh, she is also a woman and cinderella she is also a woman so all women are not equally powerless but you will decide after watching this is my opinion you will decide after watching this Uh, uh, story on YouTube. How would you see feminists claim that males are all powerful? So this is also an interesting question you will answer through this task. Another result is of the same research. In many tales, fathers are kings who challenge men to do something. And if the person does something successfully. the girl is given as a prize by the king but consent of the daughter is not necessary this is the new point we have already talked about the same result but the addition here is that while giving the girl as a prize as a trophy to the person who successfully does something to get her the girl's consent is not शॉर्ट आफ्टर उसकी राय नहीं ली जाती उससे नहीं पूछा जाता एंड इफ दे रिबेल दे डिनाई दिसऑबी वट हैपन्स दे आर पनिश दे आर एक्सपेल दे आर कन्फाइंड एट हाउ एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट फाइंडिंग इज यूज ऑफ जेनेरिक ही इन दीज फेरी टेल्स मेस्कुलन प्रोनाउन ही रिफर्स टू बोथ सेक्सेस it matches with the most recent feminine concern they say that our entity uh, is effaced eliminated when males use he for both sexes to hamari jo hamara jo alag tashakkus hai wo nahi rehta or uh, we become non entity so we conclude from this module that gender stereotyping is common across culture this stereotyping is not confined to any specific particular culture only asians do this south asians do this or western do this this is common across cultures it is not issue of a particular region or area of the world